pots everywhere. There's a lot of rules and this has been going on for three months. On our shocking quarantine here in Valparaiso, Chile. Either closed or you can't get in. Hola. He said this for all of this. <laughs> Nobody here in this plaza. Chilean style wall. Incan wall here in Cusco. Good morning guys. So today we thought it would be interesting to show you different perspectives of this lockdown situation. So luckily we have a friend in Chile and she's gonna show us how it is over there while we show you how it is here in Peru. From what we've heard, it seems quite a bit different in Chile. The lockdown is not quite as strict. All right guys, meet Mo from the YouTube channel Way Beyond Pad Thai. She's gonna be walking around Chile today showing us what it's like. Hi guys, I'm Mo from Where We On Pad Thai channel. And hi guys, Alexana and Lindsay. Thanks for having me here. I'm really excited to be collaborating with you on this video. So Mo, we're curious, how did you end up in Chile and what's your coronavirus story? So I was traveling in Peru for two months, planning to go to Brazil, just actually just right before this pandemic happened. And then the transfer flight is here in Chile. So I stopped by here a little bit and thought I was gonna be here like 10 days just to check things out. Not even a week when I was here, Chile was going to already close their border <laughs> and things started to get really serious. So that's why I was like, here in Brazil, same, same. And since I'm already here and know like stuff around here already, might as well just stay here until this thing is all over. Believe it, you guys, I've um, been here over three months already and I don't know when it's going to stop. All right, guys, so we're gonna walk a little bit through the historic center here and we're gonna go to the San Blas Market. been here already like two months or something uh, walking outside here like because here we're not getting to the market yet so we don't actually need this actually show me what you guys got over there close to your um your place that you stay yeah so we just left the house about uh two minutes ago so this is pretty close to where we're staying and look we have some inca walls over here everything is closed and there's no people we're about to get to a main road right now where there are some people, but mostly around where we're staying, not many at all. Look at this, one of the main roads here in the historic center. Nobody here in this plaza. It's just us and our dog. <laughs> so we're curious, what's the lockdown like over there? Walking like two, three minutes. That that's the first shop, like the closest shop to the house. We're getting there. I'm gonna show you such um, a shocking lockdown or shocking quarantine here in Valparaiso, Chile because I don't even feel like it's quarantine anything anymore. It's just like a normal day where people just wear masks. That's it. This is like Chilean style wall like all the wall all the doors everything in the city look like this here in santiago i'm not quite sure like other parts because i've been in just in two cities now you guys show me your inca walls <laughs> yeah we'll show you one of the best incan walls here in cusco coming right up <laughs> luckily here we're very close to a bunch of inca walls but this one has the 12 angled stone which is a masterpiece of architecture. Very well known in Cusco. And usually down this road, it would be packed with people to see the stone. But we're the only ones down here. Look at this, look behind us, nobody. All right, where is it? It's somewhere over here. So this is the 12 angled stone. Amazing how they fit all of these stones perfectly together. They say you can't even fit a slip of paper through here. They didn't have any mortar. We don't know how the Incas put this together way back when. So that's our Incan wall right here. And the rest of it. They are everywhere. So there's just so much history in this city. So what's it like over there? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Because this is how it looks like of the lockdown of quarantine here in Chile. First vegetable shop right here. Now we're gonna walk through. Yeah. Bus stop. 
Well, I'm actually surprised right now because it's usually like way busier than this. Not a busy day at all here. Hand roll, they sell it everywhere in like San Diego and here. It's so popular. And I'm actually gonna get one. Hand roll, por favor. Chicken avocado? Si, por favor. Yeah. Let's do some street food over here. Do you guys actually have like some street food? Selling at the moment right now? Wow, that street food looks Ooh. so good. We don't have anything like that here. I wish we did. You made me hungry though. So this is our version of street food here. Take a look. See that kid hanging out the back there? So we don't exactly have street food. It's probably because of the quarantine. We would assume that there would be more street food in Peru, but we just haven't seen any. But we have car food. So yeah, let's buy a fruit off of a truck on the street. Yeah. This truck smells so good. You can smell all the citrus from the oranges, pomelo, pineapple. How much did that cost? Two souls, so 50 cents no souls. for all of this. <laughs> all right, now we're just gonna walk around a little and show you guys our lockdown versus Chilean lockdown. Let's see how similar they are. So our lockdown experience has been extremely strict. Every time we go out, there's cops everywhere. There's not that many people out. There's a lot of rules and this has been going on for three months. Luckily things are getting better, which is why you'll see people out now. But for the first two months of our lockdown, there was nobody. Nobody out, almost ever. So now where we're at is restaurants are finally starting to open. Peru has four different phases. And right now we're in the second phase of reopening. Sweet food again! Lem, 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 lem. So many stalls. And actually, yeah, I think we're getting into like uh, the BC part. If you guys have some part of the city that is actually like BC like this. So this road this alleyway we used to go down it all the time in the last month and we haven't for a couple of weeks but there used to be nobody whenever we passed through here nobody and now we just crossed probably 30 people in a minute or two and a lot of these stores are either closed or you can't get in because of things like this today. I sometimes shop around here too. For fruit and vegetables. Like for the supermarket I mostly walk by wine or some snack. For the fruits and vegetable itself I usually buy it outside here. Like what about your cities in there? How do you actually buy the vegetable or something that you used to cook? So look at this place. San Blas is really interesting because it's kind of transformed during lockdown. You'll see there are a lot of spray painted circles on the ground where you have to stay six feet apart. And then there's a lot of caution tape that you can't pass. So it's changed a lot since before lockdown. When there's a line outside of San Blas, you have to wait in each of these and they get mad if you wait with someone you know. All right guys, so that place was closing. We just wanted to show you guys some of it really quick, but it looks like we're gonna have to go to another store. So pretty much you have to wait in line a little bit. Sometimes you have to wait for like 20, 30 minutes. Go for me, go for me, go for me, go for me. Hola. Gracias. So we don't really have one place that we go to. So right now we're actually in a store that we've never been in before. We like to mix it up. <laughs> so it's not a huge store like the supermarket that you're at, but 
this will work for now. So let's look for some snacks. I found something right there. Damn. Motel con hotel. This is actually like Chilean Chilean. So you're gonna grab this. I've actually never seen this anywhere else. Have you guys seen this somewhere else? I'm not sure. I don't know if you have been in Chile before, but... No, we've never seen anything like that before, but we have ice cream, Peruvian ice cream. What's that? No idea. The you Puma wanna... is very popular here. We are gonna try a Peruvian soda that we see all the time on the shelves and in these fridges. So we don't know quite what this is, but it's a Kamu Kamu flavor, Gorana. So, we've been seeing this all over, we're gonna try this one out today. Guys, what's on your right up here? Like, a boba? This one? A boba? Yeah, that one. What is that? Yeah, maybe you can try that. So what is it? This is Besos de Moza. Don't know what these are, but again, we've seen them and want to try them. Good choice. Now, let's go to like chips and snacks I already know what I'm gonna be getting so it's this thing so everyone knows Cheetos and like uh, the cheese puff but I'm sure that you have never seen this flavor before it's like a puff but not cheese puff it's peanut puff more like Chilean kind of but that one was so good kind of gonna get this and try it do you guys actually have this? in Peru. No, we don't have those, but we have these. Los Cuates Picantes. We're not sure if these are Peruvian, but Piqueos. These are pretty, these chicharron are pretty popular here. Honestly, it's so hard to breathe. Do you actually have the same problem wearing masks? Because... Actually, yeah, especially Lindsay. She hates these masks. She takes hers off all the time. I feel like I'm suffocating in this thing. So we're gonna try to keep them on because we're in the store, but right when we get outside, we try to take them off. This one is exciting. So you see, oh, oh! We're done, you guys. So like for the price, but this and then three other things combined. Cost me actually like less than five thousand Chilean peso. So the total for all of those is 12 soles, which is about $3. So, do we walk out of the supermarket together? One, two, three. Let's go. All right, now we're heading home and we are gonna try some of the Peruvian snacks that we got. How are you guys doing over there? Are you excited to try all that that you got over there? I'm actually pretty excited with all this because I'm getting hungry. So we have a few snacks, candies, just Peruvian things to try, and then Mo has a few over there. So we're kind of gonna show you the difference between some of our Peruvian snacks versus her Chilean snacks. All right, Mo, we're gonna let you take it away and go first. All right, ready? Hand roll. First, when I got to Chile and when I um, craving some sushi and I got this, I was a little bit disappointed. But then at some point, I got addicted for a little bit. <laughs> I've been eating this like for a week, every day straight because it's just non-stoppable. Deep fried with some like a bread crumbs, a little bit. So it's crispy outside and inside it's soft. And let's see what they got inside there. The sushi sauce, which is like soy sauce, but not really. So, not so sweet. Salty, mostly. This one, unagi. So, it's a little bit like sweeter. Um, it's the one that they use with the unagi or the eel. If you guys actually getting hungry by watching this and you loving it, feel free to go over to my channel and see me eat. It's like got seaweed in there. Pauta or avocado, so here around South America they call it pauta, not aguacate. Then chicken. What about there? 
in Peru? Do you have like something like this at all? Or I'm not so sure because when I was there, I don't think I have seen something like this. No, actually, we don't have anything like that. At least we haven't seen anything like that at all during lockdown. I wish. But we're gonna try something very different from that <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we're gonna try a pomelo, which isn't exactly Peruvian, but you find them in South America. And so we're gonna have this fruit first. And this was our street food item. So here it goes. All right, Alex is just peeling it right now. Not the easiest thing Ooh. in the world to eat and peel. It's like peeling a basketball. It smells really good. Ooh. It smells like the mix between a uh, lemon, orange, and grapefruit. What do you guys think? Smell that. Oh, isn't that good? All right, we're gonna stop this camera for the next five minutes while I peel <laughs> this. That is the inside of the pomelo. We're gonna take a little bit of that right there, some of those cells. Mmm, juicy. Oh, yeah. It's good. It's a little bit bitter, but not as bitter as a pomegranate. It also pomegranate? has a... Pomegranate? Oh. Grapefruit? So, Mo, yours looks a lot better, but ours <laughs> is healthier, so... <laughs> Alright, Mo, what are you gonna try next? Mote con huesillo. Totally Chilean. Dry peach um, in the syrup and with the husk wheat. And in San Diego, they're gonna have like this street stall where you can just go buy just like a really big cup for 800, 900, which is about like a dollar or a little bit over a dollar. It's been a while. I have had this. I up a little bit here and that the whole like um, dehydrated peach. Then we got like husk wheat. The liquid is like a sweet and a little bit sour from the peach taste. Then the husk wheat right here. Mm. And it's so refreshing. You guys are so lucky that when we're doing the video today, when I was filming, it was not so cold because it's been cold for like two or three days and then it's horrible, you guys. But now the sun is out and then it's a little bit warm, but I still need this. But at the same time, it's actually like a good day to have some mote con, his <laughs> mote con huesillo. Mote is um, this husk wheat. And huesillos is the peach. Or the other ways around. I don't know. All right, next up in Peru, we're gonna try this soda here. What is it called? Guarana Bacchus Kamu Kamu flavor. We've been having Inca Cola a lot, so we haven't really had anything else here. It's like a mm. cherry. Black cherry kind of flavor? Yeah, black cherry, blackberry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not really sure, but I assumed it would taste like a Fanta, but it doesn't really taste like a Fanta to me. Yeah, it tastes more like a carbonated juice than a soda. All right, now on to your next item, Mo. Usually um, when they advertise it, even on like on the thing, on the package, you're gonna see pasta de mani. So they actually put like the real peanut in there, not just the flavor. Oh, it smells so peanutty. It's like you open a jar of peanut butter. Cheers. <laughs> that was... It actually looks like peanut too, like the shape of it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. The same texture as the Cheetos that you have normally, like the, the corn puff. With this, you get like the peanutty kind of flavor. And let me tell you, I think this is actually better than Cheetos. Like better than the other one because it's like the flavor is a little bit more intense. Uh, this one. Mmm, I think I like it. Now we're gonna dig into Los Cuayates Picantes chips. It looks like a corn chip, maybe resembles a Frito. If you're from the States, you'll know what that is. Well, maybe we try it together this time. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Three, two, one. Mmm. 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 Mm. So sweet. Mm. The spice mm. in that is awesome. <laughs> Fritos, but a little more spiciness to it. Fritos with a little salsa flavor. Good. I'd eat these again. Awesome. It's like you're chewing 
sugar but with coconut flavor not bad but at the same time I wouldn't take like many of this in a day mm. all right now we're gonna try Bezos, Bezos de Moza let's dig in Lindsay's been excited for these she's been seeing them around I had no idea what these were. And I'm a sweets girl. I don't pay attention to these oh, kind of things. Oh, look at Oh. First impression, I like the presentation. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a little box they look of like chocolates. Truffles. Wow, your entire palm. So you get a lot in that little box. Kind of looks like a s'more. Does mm. it taste like a you s'more? You know what? It has a little like meringue kind of um. Mm. It's very like spongy, marshmallowy, meringue. <laughs> okay. All right, Mo, what is mm. your favorite over there? Not gonna lie, but this is so good. Like, even better than the Cheetos thing. Uh. Let me ask you guys one question. Which is your favorite out of like those things that you have going on uh, right there? All right, yeah, so what's your favorite, Lindsay? So all of our snacks were very different and diverse for different <laughs> occasions and cravings. Completely different. <laughs> we, we had like a soda. candy, a soda, a fruit, a Chips. snack, but yeah. still. My two favorites though would be these Besos de Moza. Not a big surprise because I love chocolate. Pretty good. And then these chips. Those might be my favorite or else, if not one of those. I like the pomelo. I'm a big fruit fan and so I like fruit better than snacks. All right, this has been really fun. Thanks, Mo, for joining us on this video and showing us what quarantine in Chile looks like. So if you want to follow Mo and everything she does, she is also a traveler, a food vlogger. We discovered her a while ago because she was doing food stuff in Peru. Mm -hmm. And so her channel is called Way Beyond Pad Thai. And she has some awesome videos, really creative. So you should go over there and follow her and check out some of her stuff. Thank you you guys and thank you you two too for giving me a chance to be here to meet your audience and maybe we've met before or maybe we've never met before. Thank you for watching this part and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to keep in touch, make sure you head over there to Webby and Patai channel and click subscribe for now. Ciao! By the way, that was um signature kiss. <laughs> from my behind for that channel so see you guys there my name is Camelo I'm from Colombia uh, I have a channel on YouTube uh, called Viajemos Mas it's a Spanish travel content well a uh, couple of days uh, we were gonna go to Europe yes the Europe my wife and uh, well we, we couldn't really go because the my uh, flights were uh, closed and uh, we were locked down at home and uh, well uh, I guess that the good thing with this is that we're not st stuck in our airport yeah hey guys we can only do so much on YouTube and we only put out a video every two or three days so if you want more if you want daily stuff you should head to Instagram Find us at Alexander Travel Bum, and that's where you'll find daily stories and photos about our travels. Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you want to watch more, click one of these videos. Subscribe because I'm traveling all around the world and I'm sharing the whole thing with you. Thanks.